through a mindfulness practice. Oh, my laptop. Okay, technical difficulties, but we'll get it figured out. Um, through a mindfulness practice, because it is, oh my goodness, it is March. And for me, March means mindfulness. That's my intention for this month. So I just wanted to share a little bit of this practice with you. Um, let's see. And so let's talk about mindfulness a little bit. So mindfulness is living in the moment, experiencing the moment, feeling everything. Feeling it in your heart, in your body, and kind of going back to that, that conversation we had a few weeks ago about frequency and just experiencing the different, the different little intricate pieces. And so the way that we do that is we start very basically, we start at the surface and then we go a layer deeper and then maybe another layer deeper. And when you practice these things, you find that it's easier to stay grounded and present and to not let emotions or other factors affect us. So that's what we'll be getting into today. Um, we'll do a little bit of physical practice. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of physical practice um, just to tune into the body and get things moving and warmed up. Um, but it's all going to be done seated, so if you'd like, you can sit in a chair on the edge of the couch, um, whatever you're most comfortable with, really. And, um, let me see. Um, so, yeah, find a, a comfortable seat either on the ground. Um, in a chair on the edge of the couch, somewhere where you can sit up nice and tall. Feel the spine elongated. Allow the shoulders to drift to the right and to the left. And the crown of the head is reaching towards um, the ceiling. Stack the heart above the hips and the head above the heart. And maybe you bring your um, hand to your stomach and then one hand comes over the heart. And just check in on this alignment here. And when you feel comfortable here, you can allow the eyes to close and the attention to move inward. And what does that mean? The attention moves inward. So feeling your sit bones rooted down feel the space between the shoulder blades and feel the neck as an extension of the spine. Maybe you begin to relax and just notice the sensations in the body. There's no need to change anything at this time. Just notice. Relax the muscles in the face. If there's any holding in the shoulders, 
Begin to relax that space little by little. Notice if there's any sounds around you. And see if you can draw the attention past the sounds. Staying connected with my voice. But noticing the stillness of the mind. Begin to notice the air. Noticing the temperature of the room. Notice the quality of the air. And using the breath, feeling the air as it rolls in and out of the body. And we will begin to notice the breath. Maybe you can feel it as it moves through the body if you have a hand over your heart and a hand over your belly. And maybe you don't want the hands on the body. You can still feel the breath moving in and out. Notice where it sits. No judgment. Just be here. Be present with this experience. And let's begin to lengthen this breath, both inhalations and exhalations using 100% of lung capacity, breathing in fully, and exhaling slowly with control. We'll do about three more deep breaths, experience the expansion in the lungs, and the contraction of the lungs as you exhale. What does that feel like in the body? And we'll take one last deep breath. Allow the breath to nourish the body. And exhaling completely. You can release the hands down to the knees. Check to make sure you're sitting up nice and tall once again. And you can flutter the eyes open, experiencing the light as it enters the body. This is your reality. These intricacies of the moment of this experience are with you at all times. And we can practice these things to be able to tap into this reality at any given moment. And so we'll begin to wiggle the fingers, maybe the wrists, making wrist circles, send it in the other direction, maybe back and forth. If you work um, on a computer or um, do a lot of sitting during the day. Our wrists, they love this, this movement. So just make some wrist circles and bring the hands down by the sides. We'll inhale as the arms reach up and overhead. And we'll exhale, flipping the palms and guiding the hands down slowly. Inhale through the nose as you reach up. And then on the exhalation guides that guides the hands down. 
a few more times. Inhaling, feeling the shoulders, the biceps, and the space between the ribs. And as you exhale, feeling the muscles on top of the shoulders, on the insides of the arms and the wrists. Inhale as you lift. And exhale as you lower. Just linking breath with movement. One last time, make it count. And we'll inhale just the right arm up and overhead. Sink the shoulder back into the socket. We don't want to overextend, but just find the ease here. Inhale as you lift. And exhale, begin to walk the hand over. If you're sitting in a chair, you can just walk the hand down the chair. We're getting a stretch, a lateral stretch here, right in between the ribs. Creating more space for that air to flow freely. Continue to breathe, hold the posture, not the breath. And we'll inhale as we reach up, straightening the spine, and then release the hand down. We'll stabilize the spine, or the muscles that run along the spine for a breath. Checking your alignment, sitting up nice and tall. The right hand comes beside you, inhale as we lift the left, and exhale, walking the hand slightly over or down the side of the chair. Finding a stretch in between the ribs here. And with your next inhalation, walking the hand back in and lengthening through the spine, release the hand down. Bring the hands to the knees. We'll begin to warm up the spine with, um, I, I like to call them TikToks. So it's inhaling. We'll bring the heart forward, the gaze slightly lifts. We don't want to crunch into the back of the neck, so make sure you maintain that nice long neck. And exhale, we'll draw the shoulders in towards the midline, rounding into the back. I'll turn to the side so you can see. Sitting up nice and tall for the start. We'll inhale as the chest comes forward, gaze lifts. And exhale, rounding into the spine. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Just finding gentle movement, warming up the spine. We'll continue this for just a moment. Maybe you can allow the eyes to close to experience what this feels like in the body. Do two more rounds. And once again, sitting up nice and tall, allow the eyes to close and just experience that in the body for a moment. Isn't this body amazing? Isn't it amazing what it does for us every single day? Place your hands over your heart, maybe feeling your heartbeat. And now breathe in gratitude for yourself.
breathe in gratitude for your body. Gratitude for your heart. Gratitude for your mind. And most importantly, gratitude for your spirit, that flame within you. And you can release the hands. Let's bring the hands to the base of the neck and just give yourself a little neck massage here. Maybe the eyes can close so you can experience the sensation in the body. If you're just tuning in, you can join us right here. This is gentle yoga, a mindfulness practice. Working out any kinks, any tight places. Maybe working the hands up the neck. Every body's experience is different, so if there's any points that want you to keep working there, do it. If you'd like, you can work the fingers up towards the base of the skull. There's little muscles there that do a lot of supporting, so just massage them out. Maybe working around to the backs of the ears and down the sides of the neck. One more breath of this. Before returning to stillness. Sitting up nice and tall, experience this. Experience the sensation in the neck, the tingling, the movement of energy that we've created in the body. And flutter the eyes open. Bring the hands to the knees, palms down. And we'll inhale. The heart comes over to the left knee, over to the right knee, and then exhale as we round back. These are Sufi rolls. Inhaling as you come forward. And exhaling around and back. Massaging out the abdominals. Creating movement in the spine. Inhaling as you come forward. And exhaling around and back. One more on this side. And on your next inhalation, we'll switch directions. Inhaling as you come forward. And exhaling around and back. Mindfully doing so. Feeling all the sensations in the body. And one more circle on this side. Before sitting up nice and tall once again. You can allow the eyes to close and experience this, being mindful to stack the heart above the hips and the head above the heart. And we'll take a cleansing breath here, so that's a deep inhalation through the nose and an audible exhale through the mouth. Inhale for that cleansing breath. And exhale, let it go. Inhale completely. Exhale, release. These breaths are really good for releasing tension. You may notice that you already feel that in the body. You can use these throughout your day, and you probably, the body already does it. Um, so if you can do it mindfully, you've mastered um, one moon management technique for the day. Yeah? So now we're going to take some twists. These are very gentle twists. 
Um, if you have back concerns, I recommend, you know, maybe taking the twist very gently at first or not at all. So listen to your body. If something does not feel right, don't do it. Simple as that. We're very mindful people today. So let's listen in. We'll inhale, the arms come up and overhead. And exhale, rotating to the left, the back of the hand will come to the, the thigh. And then the, um, the left hand will come behind you as a kickstand. So we'll, before even twisting, we'll inhale, lift the heart, sitting up nice and tall, and exhale, slightly and gently twist. Continue to breathe up and down the length of the spine. And coming out the same way we went in, we'll inhale, the arms come up and overhead. And release the hands down to the knees. And we'll stabilize the spine before moving on to the next side. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale as the arms come up and overhead. Exhale, twisting to the right, the back of the hand comes to the thigh. And before even really twisting, we'll inhale, lengthen up through the spine. And exhale as we twist gently. Continue to breathe. Hold the posture, not the breath. We never want to hold this breath for too long unless it's mindfully. This breath is our life force. We'll inhale, lifting the arms up and overhead. And exhale the hands down to the knees. And now that we've warmed up all of our core, let's sit and breathe, shall we? I'm going to guide you through a meditation. And then I have a quote for you at the end for a little bit of inspiration to send you on your way to have the most wonderful day. So sitting up nice and tall, just allow the eyes to close. Or if you like, you can also come to lying on your back um, in a very relaxed um, position. So allow the eyes to close. And once again, return to the breath. Become aware of your inhalations and exhalations. Begin now to deepen your breath without struggle or strain. Just allow the inhalations to become a bit more full and the exhalations more complete. On your next breath out, say the word one to yourself silently. Breathe in and repeat the word one. Breathing out, repeat the word one. Continue this for a few breaths.
breathe easily and naturally as you repeat the word one. deeply engaged and totally absorbed in this experience. Now breathe normally and be still. You are merged completely with the oneness of all things. Everything is connected and we are all one. Now, as I name each body part, experience it directly without interpretation or analysis. Feel all 10 toes. both ankles, both knees, the pelvis, the belly, the chest, both arms, the throat, and the face. Bring your attention to the back of the head, the shoulder blades, the upper back, and the lower back, the calves, and the heels, and finally the soles of the feet. Sense the whole body from the top of the head to the tip of the toes. Complete awareness for the whole body. Very good. And allow the eyes to close if they aren't already and just listen to the words I say. Ignorance of the true self is the cause of this illusion that causes us suffering. By the elimination of ignorance, the illusion also disappears. This is the remedy for the seer's absolute freedom. The means for this remedy is the cultivation of unbroken, discriminative awareness. The focus. Through this process, wisdom progresses through seven phases until it extends to the fullest realm. And I will go into those um, at a different date, but basically, um, so that was a quote from the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, um, as interpreted by um, Mukunda Stiles, just so you have something to maybe read. Um, but anyway, 
This practice of mindfulness will we will continue throughout the month of March and it really is the key to mastery of the body of the mind and of the spirit so um, I hope that you've learned something that you can take with you throughout this week um, and we will be back again the same time next week on the one network so uh, thank you so so very much for joining me and I hope you have a lovely day and one thing you can do to practice mindfulness throughout your day is to maybe tune into the five senses. Um, maybe, you know, while you're eating your lunch, just feel all of these sensations as they move throughout the body. Um, I know for me, this brings a sense of gratitude and um, peacefulness. So, uh, let's see what it does for you and um, definitely uh, message us at the one if you have any comments or questions about this um, and we'll see you all the next time. Thank you. Have a good day.